I love sarcasm. It's like punching people in the face, but with words. Welcome to a book nerd's guide to... Organizing your hoard of books. Hey booktubers, it's the Huffle Buffle here, and if you haven't noticed, I have a lot of books. No way. Yep. I know. Lots of books. Look at look at them all. <laughs> How the hell do I know where all my books are? How the hell do I organize them all? How the hell do I find shelf space for the millions of books I buy on a daily basis? Well, it's a process, and I'm gonna teach you how I do it. Alright, first we're gonna start out with the way that you organize your bookshelves. So there are a lot of ways to organize your bookshelf. You can organize it by genre, organize it by author, or organize it by color, or height of books, etc, etc. The most popular way of organizing, I find, is probably by genre, which is the way that I organize my books for the most part. Um, and also organizing by author within genre, which can sometimes be hard. Um, so the way that I organize my shelves is typically by genre, but if I have a lot of books by the same author, I have a shelf usually dedicated to that author, or maybe two separate authors that I have a lot of their books. So for example, this shelf right over there is my Alexandra Bracken and Susan Dennard shelf. So it's majority Alexandra Bracken, because she's one of my favorite authors, and it also has both Win Witch and Truth Witch on that shelf. I organize it that way because I have a lot of Alexandra Bracken books. Why do I have doubles? Some of them are signed, so calm yourself. And I really like Alexandra Bracken, so I wanted to give her a feature. And a lot of my shelves are quite small. Obviously, the ones starting my bed, the little keepy ones, are quite small. So I need to organize them in a way that makes it so the the tiny small shelf has a purpose, and it's not just like a random scattering of a bunch of books in between small cubicles. Now, for the most part, the rest of my shelves are organized by genre or by aesthetic. So, these two shelves up here are contemporary shelves, but there are a few books on these shelves that aren't contemporary, they just fit in with the contemporary cover theme. So, for example, the Rebel Bell trilogy, Rebel Bell, Miss Mayhem, and Lady Renegades by Rachel Hawkins are not contemporary, but they fit on the shelf because they are pastel in color and they don't look right with other supernatural fantasy books. It's all about making your shelves look nice. And for me, <laughs> that's what I do to make them look nice. I have them organized by genre and organized by author, but I also take into account what colors look best with other colors. So I have varying fantasy shelves scattered throughout all of my shelves because I have a lot of fantasy books, that's primarily what I read, and each fantasy shelf is organized not just by author and the fact that it's fantasy, but what would look the best. Okay, now that we've talked about the shelves, let's move on to keeping all of your books straight in your head. And you're probably thinking, yeah, how the hell do you keep tabs on all of these books and the way that they're organized? And my answer is cataloging them. I only recently did this, um, and I was given the idea by Raylene from Pevlet and Prong 07, who's a really good friend of mine, and she was Snapchatting about it, and I was like, wow, that sounds like a good idea. I'm gonna do it. And then I thought, now I'm gonna make a video about it because this is awesome and more people need to do this. Um, Especially because I'm kind of an organization nerd, and that's a lot of things that people might be surprised by that, people that know me in real life, because I'm kind of messy, and I'm also kind of lazy, but I really do love organization, and I'm kind of a freak for it, so I love this idea of cataloging your books. I use a document, and I use Google Docs, so that way... If something were to happen to my computer, I'd still be able to access this document from pretty much any device. Any device that has internet. <laughs> and I numbered my shelves. So this is the overbed shelf in the document, and this is the large IKEA shelf. So I named them based on what they are, overbed and large IKEA. Um, but if you had a bunch of similar shelves, if you had a bunch of those lined up, for example, you could name you could number them, or you could name them via colors and put like colored lights or do whatever you want to do to give each shelf a separate identity, I guess. So this for me, overbed shelf, large Ikea shelf. And then I numbered the individual shelves. So on this shelf, I numbered from there to there. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I numbered the large Ikea shelf, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
So each shelf is numbered individually, and I didn't continue with 11 on this shelf. I started again at 1. And then, um, for each shelf, I listed the books in order um, via author. I mentioned if they were signed or not, or a special edition or not, because sometimes I have duplicate copies of the same book for varying reasons. Special editions, signed editions, whatever. Um, I have a paperback and a hardcover, etc, etc. So I went through and I wrote down every single book um, in the document. And then, basically, then after I had all of the books in a organized list scenario, I went through and I added star ratings to all the books that I've read. So it's very clear to see which ones I've read, etc, etc. Catalog. And I know that I could do like a, like record the screen, but I'm too lazy. So, it's basically all of my books. The ones with the bold star ratings are the ones I've read. Not nearly enough of them. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just a simple, simple thing of li basically listing your books in some sort of order based on what shelves they sit on. That way, if you ever are in a situation where you forgot where a book goes on your shelf, you can look it up in your catalog, etc, etc. And it also shows the way that they're organized because not only did I number each shelf, like, I gave them a kind of theme. So the bottom shelf is sci-fi, so I named it number one, sci-fi. And then next shelf is number two, sci-fi fantasy favorites. Number three, Alexander Bracken and Susan Dennard. Number four, random fantasy and black and white books. Number five, contemporary pastels. Number six, contemporary pastels part two. Number seven, Lord of the Rings and King Arthur books. Number eight, ra um, fantasy. Number nine, um, more fantasy. <laughs> Number 10 is Peter Pan retellings, mermaid books, and general ocean and pirate books. Then number one on this shelf is Cassandra Clare, two is Rick Riordan, three is Harry Potter, four is fantasy favorites, five is dystopians and other fantasies, and six is basically what I call the leftover shelf, and it's everything that didn't fit anywhere else, um, because it's kind of the least noticeable of the shelves. And yeah, um, it's really as simple as having an organization system to your shelves and cataloging your books, and you can stay incredibly organized and on top of things. The only thing you have to remember to do is add your books when you get new books. So I'm probably going to get some new books today because I want to pick up some Ellen Hopkins books because I've heard good things about her bisexual rap. So gonna pick some of those up and uh, I'm gonna have to add them somewhere and it may look like I have no room but I'm pretty decent at like switching things around in order to give me room and once I do that I have to make sure to go back into my book catalog and alter things so that it fits the new shelf and that's really it so thank you guys so much for watching get on top of your book organization. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I know you're tired of hearing that. I'm tired of saying it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a wonderful out, and stay alive.